प्लीज स्टॉप प्लीज स्टॉप 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 You know what? These days I'm trying to read comments because oh my god, they're so interesting. Previously I did not concentrate much on the comments because when it's YouTube or any other thing in the world, you will have positivity and negativity. You can't help that. That's how the world is. And it was actually good because definitely positive comments push you up. They motivate you. They inspire you to do more. The second type of comments you will come across are definitely negative comments, which are once again as important as positive comments because you know though they are negative, they are a little bit constructive. They give you genuine feedback. They are also fine. But then you have the third type of comments which are irritating. But now I'm immune to. stuff even if i see such a comment i don't really care because i know where we stand right now and where those people are standing right now people who hate on you they keep hating themselves that is the reason they spread that hate negativity everywhere else so no matter if you're a youtuber or if you're into business or in your office doesn't matter if there are people who hate you let them be their hate is not going to change anything for you in your life nor it is going to change them in their lives oh yes it will change them it will do nothing but drag them much and much deeper into their negativity Oh, oh my god it is becoming so hot yaar you know what i really wanted to see this location i mean uh, from this height from this skyline of hyderabad i wanted to really capture a nice time lapse from here and firstly till now i couldn't capture a time lapse from here reason being there were never clouds we shifted here in november which is proper winter winter season may obviously don't have clouds and after the winter what happens we get summer and obviously summer may again you will not have clouds so we'll have to wait till monsoon season clouds over here and and we'll get some nice beautiful time lapses i really can't wait to shoot all that and one more thing i have to mention A lot of people keep saying when they meet me in real, Shriman, you're so fair compared to the camera. I know this happens because when I've seen other YouTubers as well, when I see them on the screen, they look a little bit dark and very different. But when I see them in real, they're like very different. They're huge, and then we are all extra, at least ten percent fairer than what we are on the screen. Of course, we all take care of our skin and do all that. And one thing I have to admit, when I promote all these products, face creams, face washes, hair care, we actually use it. Yeah, I don't know about other YouTubers, but not just me. My whole family uses it, especially my mom. Whenever there is something extra, I give it to her. He will properly utilize it and give me the review as well. First, let me watch this. Right now I'm using the vitamin C range by Wow Skin Science. This range has the vitamin C face wash, vitamin C skin mist toner and the vitamin C face serum. First things first, you have to wash your face thoroughly with the vitamin C face wash. You know most of the times our skin is pretty beautiful. The only reason it looks a little bit dead is because you have dead skin cells which need to be removed and that is where a good face wash helps. It not only removes the dead skin cells from the top layer but it also goes into the pores and removes the dirt, the gunk and gives your skin a glowing natural look. After the face wash, you have to use the skin mist toner. This is a hydrating and a reviving face mist. It minimizes the pores and it firms up your skin just hold the bottle a few inches away from your face and spray the mist on your skin once the mist settles on your skin gently dab your face with your palm and lastly you finish the skincare routine by using wow skin science 20% vitamin c face serum this delivers the benefits of pure vitamin c with hazel and hyaluronic acid take a pea sized amount of the serum onto your palm just dot the serum all over your cleansed face and neck do this for a minute till it gets soaked into your skin you know usually serums help in hydrating it also boosts your collagen and elastin last but not the least do not step out into this hot crazy bad sun without a good sunscreen i'm using a wow skin science sunscreen matte finish so all the wow products are made of natural ingredients there are no harmful chemicals in it no sulfates no color and they're all dermatologically tested and do not forget to use my coupon code seeman kotaru 20 get a flat 20% off at buywow.in the coupon code is applicable on ios and android app as well do check them out and be wow naturally whenever you place an order on their website you will get a seed pouch along with your order you can plan this and you can become a proud plant parent Where, 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 where did I put it? Yeah. Right now, this is the room that is being underutilized. Like, check it out. It's completely empty except for for the iron box and iron table. This is the third room. Ideally, it should be a guest room, but as you can see, we did not set it up yet. Right now, I'm using it as storage, especially with all this cupboard. TPH covers, customized body covers. If you're my old subscriber, you know that I use TPH covers a lot for most of my bikes and cars. It is a very premium cover. It looks amazing. It fits amazing. It's like a proper body hugging T-shirt for your car. But then, <laughs> for the X4 being a very premium car, somehow I did not go for the TPH cover first. I got a very basic cover that I thought it will just get the job done. But somehow, after putting it once or twice, I I was not getting that satisfaction. So I went ahead and got the TPH covers. कवर में कवर में देर इज एक्चुअल कवर दिस लाइक लिटरली द इंसेप्शन ऑफ कवर्स लेट्स गो पुट दिस ऑन द एक्स फोर एंड होपफुली इट फिट्स परफेक्टली एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड बिफोर लिविंग आई जस्ट फॉगॉट यू गैस रिमेंबर दिस हमारा बिलव टाइगर द डार्क हॉर्स द फाइनल थिंग्स आई स्टिल विथ मी आई नीड टू शिप दिस टू बायर सो बिफोर ट्राइंग द कवर एंड ऑल दैट आई जस्ट रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस विल हैव टू सेंड दिस टू हिम एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द टाइगर्स इंस्ट्रक्शन मैनुअल विच वी नेवर ओपन एंड देर इज द डुप्लीकेट की 
which we never used. I'm just sealing it properly so that we don't lose anything in shipping. Just gonna pack this inside this cover, seal it properly and we'll ship it. And by the way, someone told me that there is a DTDC. Actually, I was seeking out for some courier service. Google Maps shows a DTDC service center right inside the community. I don't know if that is true, but let's go check it out. Okay, I've been searching the entire premises, but I don't think it is here. I'll have to check with someone. I'll do one thing. I'll take the Seltos, do this parcel work and come back. Okay, check with the security here. It seems unfortunately there is no such courier service inside the community. We have to go out. But hello, yeah, let's do it. He's asking from a long time to send it. Another two or three months is going to finish one year since we've sold the tiger. Where we found it is just right here. Okay, as you can see, we are back in the BMW and one confusion that always happens once I shift from the Kia to the BMW. First thing is definitely the indicators. Usma indicators on the right, his main indicators on the left, windshield wipers on the left in the Kia and Isme, it's on the right. Slowly I'm getting used to it and one more confusion after that. Push start key is somewhere here for the Kia and the push start key for the BMW is fancy on the left side of the car beside the gear lever. Anyways, I'm taking the car from my parking to the Kia's parking somewhere down. The reason for that is making a video there is much better than here because there's a lot of sound outside. See this electrical office over here? Here. It's a lot of sound coming out from there. By the way, I have to tell you, we finished just 1994 kilometers. Another six kilometers left to finish those 2000 kilometers, and after that, we'll actually experience this 30D beautiful gem of an engine. You see, this is how the reverse camera and all those sensors work in the BMW. International variant, you get a proper 360 camera. I said to our Seltos, maybe hey 360 camera, but after spending a lot also, you don't get that in Indian version. You get this 360 kind of sensors. You'll have to get used to it. So if something is like really near this, we can see that it is becoming red. And also these bars, which become red as you get closer and closer to an object. It's not exactly 360. If you see this part and this part is empty, but yeah, this gets the job done once you get used to it properly. First thing I wanted to check is the cover. If it is not fitting, then we'll have to send it back because it's a proper customized cover for the BMW X4. And always if you care for your car before covering any car or a bike, it's better you test it once. As you can see, it looks pretty decent. Not even decent, it looks actually nice here. <laughs> nice uh, body hugging fit. I just wish it was a darker color, maybe black or gray. What I especially like about the TPH cover is, you see this logo over here. Now the BMW actually looks like a BMW. Otherwise with that aluminum silver foil wala cover, it was looking really bad. My preference was definitely a darker color, but trust me, this looks really good. So I'm gonna remove the cover. Obviously the intention is not to cover the car every day because it gets cleaned every day. The second most important thing I want to showcase or not showcase, I want to show off. I mean, most of the cars are getting it now, but the parking assistant, the reversing assistant. For the ones who don't know, so what does this actually do? Parking assistant, Berto, it will help you park automatically. If it finds the right place, if it can park, it'll calculate all that complicated. And then if it thinks that's the right place to park and it will park on its own. It's really scary in the first time. I never tried it in this car. I've never tried it in any car for that matter, but I've seen some videos on it. I want to try it in the X4, uh, but let's start with reversing assistant, which means when you're reversing, it will try to assist. I'm not sure here. I have to check how it works. So Chalo, let's say I came back to my parking location in a very haphazard manner and I have to park it somewhere around here. Two things, park assist and reversing assistant. Let's press reversing assistant first. Immediately what you see is 4.7 meters, it calculates the distance and all that to the object. Right now you see nothing happens, but when you throttle, you see the steering, it is scary like a ghost is driving it. And I left everything just accelerating a little bit. Yeah, it kind of made it straight, you see that? And oh yes, it stopped. Wow. This is scary. <laughs> so you understood, I parked it on the right like that. It literally came back like this. Okay, now I came back into the center of the pathway. It has to literally go like this. Let's hope it does that. Hope no one is coming and not disturbing anyone, right? Reversing assistant. Well, I tried it out, but it parked in a very weird way. You want to see how? 
वाह 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 बी एम डब्ल्यू सच एन अमेजिंग पार्किंग जस्ट दैट यू नीड टू कम लिटिल बिट ओवर हियर parking assistance is it is going to parallel park so first thing p you need to press p and when you keep going in the lane if it finds a location on the left or the right but right now i don't know where it wants to park now i need to press p so whenever it calculates and detects a certain parking location you see this p this pops up the indicator popped up okay we finally got it you know what the mistake i was doing i was not wearing the seat belt because we are in slow speed once i put it to start parking take hands off the steering wheel and release brake release brake where will you park dude where is that place okay let's try okay nothing i'm doing nothing please don't oh shit really i'm doing nothing dude <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> look at this <laughs> scary dude <laughs> oh me zing <laughs> this is the first time i experience something like this outrageous <laughs> we paid no it is super accurate let's get down and see if it parked in the proper lines and all that pretty accurate yaar only thing is yeah this line little bit on the left i don't know why did it decide to stop over here maybe it calculated the distance with this car no idea but this is insane i think it is taking the other cars as guidance and it's making it pretty straight to that car not sure if i'm correct but this is insane let's try one more let's do this one more time yaar very addicting so once again let's keep moving and find one more parking Now it is scanning for the parking. Let's try it. Oh, see, it found something. I don't know where did it find, but okay, something's happening. Now all I have to do is release the brake. Okay, released it. Released everything. Oh my God, I don't know where it's going to park. Hey, there's a pillar, dude. Hey. Hey 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 You see there it's it is stuck <laughs> it is literally stuck it can't go there it can't go piche but that is good thing it stopped <laughs> This is where you need human intervention Konse brain wala ma etla varta etla boku but actually that's a very tricky position i don't know how it decided to park there it's still in the first nascent stages of automatic parking and all that but doing a pretty good job maybe we'll try this tricky one okay once again it chose the same location but this time i think it's doing a little bit better it's scary do do please 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 please, 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 please. <laughs> It stopped, but it is scary. <laughs> This is jantar mantar, yar. क्या हो रहा है यार? Robotics, engineering, next level. <laughs> I can just stay like this and it is parking, yar. <laughs> Second test passed. Not very perfect, but very close enough. See this parking? Pretty good parking. It can come a little bit piche, but like I told you, it is taking the other cars as guidance. I think maybe the tires. It's always trying to match the other cars' tires. I think if there was one more car this side, it would park perfectly inside the lines. Okay, I'm sorry, but I can't resist this. Last one more time. Let's see if it's going to park properly. I found a good location myself. If the car is going to find the same location, then it's getting close to humans. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. Music start in three, two. How are you? I 
I left everything. I removed my legs from the throttle. Please stop, please stop, 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 stop. <laughs> that one thing is scary. Oh, but good parking, yeah. I think we can use this, but we have to be very careful. It is 90% accurate, but 10% chances are there. Only good thing is, in case it is finding an obstacle very close and it's not able to nail it, it is stopping. But still, <laughs> in case you're trying it out in your car, don't see this and fancy it out too much. Be careful and I have to be always vigilant. Don't give it full control. Now, though I gave it full control because we are in a cellar and all that, public places outside, don't do that. By the way, there is one more feature I wanted to test it out. That is the remote start. Unfortunately, I don't know if this car has it or not, but I've seen in other videos, of course not Indian models. All you have to do is press this BMW logo button three times and it should start. But I think it's not working in my car because there is one more condition that needs to be fulfilled, which is you need to have more than half a tank of fuel. I don't think my car has that much. But I don't understand here. Yeah? Half a tank means almost 300 kilometers range. If it is below, I think 50 kilometers range, they shouldn't give that feature. It feels funny, yeah? Thank you. 